In today's video, we're going for a truly terrifying New Hampshire day hike up some of the steepest slabs and the toughest rock scrambles I have tackled yet. Yep, this trail's a little awkward in that you need to do a bunch of bike path walking just to get to the start of the trail from the parking area. And now finally we're getting off the pavement onto some good old trail. And yeah, you're seeing that white blaze correctly. This is actually also part of the Appalachian Trail. But just like that, we are off the Appalachian Trail on our way to our terrifying slide. our first of quite a lot of stream crossings that we'll encounter. The trail is actually flat and gradual for quite a bit of time before we even begin to find any steepness. Always be careful around those bog bridges, especially if they're wet, because they become so slippery. The stream crossings just keep on coming. Ooh, I think I found where the mountain is. Finally, we are starting our ascent. Just so much moss everywhere on the side of this hill. As the trail becomes rougher and rougher and the rocks become bigger and a little bit looser, you know that you're getting close. Ooh, our first big rock scramble of the hike.
Just remember that it's only going to keep getting more extreme from here. Which rock scramble is this? I think I've already lost count. Still a bit of child's play compared to what's about to come. And here we are, we've made it to the monster, the absolute worst rock scramble of this entire climb. I hope you're ready. Please do remember that the trail does go up and over these rocks. If you're gonna hike this trail, it is meant to be hard on purpose. I need you to follow the trail and not contribute to any other further erosion from people that are trying to skirt around this tough rock scramble. If you can't handle this rock scramble, you should not be hiking this trail, period, end of story. Please do watch out for that water. It certainly makes these rocks a lot slicker than they otherwise would be. A little bit of sideways shimmying to finish off that huge rock scramble. It's a little bit tamer, but we're not out of the woods yet. Just so much freaking climbing in such a short distance. It's just up, 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 up.
I hope it's been clear from this point that you definitely want to be ascending this trail and should never consider descending it. Definitely not recommended. Go flume to liberty for your loop. Ah, once you reach the section of the trail where you can clearly see the sky and the view behind you, you've basically made it out of the worst of it. And then once you're back in the trees, you know that you're almost there. And we did it! We made it to the end of the flume slide, but we still have to go bag that summit. What an absolutely spectacular view on one of the most perfect days. I still just can't get over how scenic and charismatic this summit is. It, it's just always so impressive to me. And welcome back. Whew, that certainly was way more terrifying than the other trail to Mount Flume that is also on the terrifying 25 list. It's not even a freaking comparison. That was Mount Flume via the Flume Slide Trail located near Lincoln, New Hampshire in White Mountain National Forest. Mount Flume is a summit on the New Hampshire 48 4,000 footer hiking list and the steep rock scramble section of the Flume Slide Trail counts for the terrifying 25. The summit was 4,300 328 feet tall and we followed a loop trail up the steep scrambles of the flume slide that was around 8.7 miles total. Now if you've already been inspired to go tackle this trail yourself first, definitely go down and hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot. And then while you're down there, check out the custom all trails map that I've created with pictures and landmarks that I've linked in the description down below. So after everything I've been saying folks, you certainly guessed it, this is earning another rare uphill both ways. I would not recommend descending this trail. It is very hard, it is very scary. I pinch myself pretty good sliding down those ledges to get the footage. And if I didn't have to do that, I would not have been descending this trail. And in fact, once I got to the summit, I did the loop over Mount Liberty. So it's definitely uphill both ways for sure. But now it comes to my recommendation. Do I recommend this trail? It, it's very exciting, I'll give you that. I'd only recommend it if you're gonna commit to actually doing the ledges and not cutting around them. If you hike this trail, you need to actually hike it. You need to face that fear head on and if you're not comfortable doing that I would say avoid this trail and take the Osseo trail up even though that's also on this list it is significantly easier than this one but hey that's just my opinion now go get hiking